Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is iOS 9.2 Beta 2. iOS 9.2 Beta 1 has been out, I think, about a week or so, and I've been using it ever since, and it's been pretty reliable. I haven't had too many issues, battery's been good, but usually with betas, battery is worse than normal when it's finally released at least in my my particular using of them. Now this version comes with a few bug fixes and one physical change, and let's go over some of those now. So this is the 6S Plus, this particular device, and the beta is about 1.6 gigabytes to update from the previous one, so I'm not sure why such a large update, but maybe it's rewriting a whole lot of things we're not seeing also. So the list is about five things long, Unpairing and repairing the Apple Watch will no longer cause the stocks glance to go missing. I have an Apple Watch here, and if you slide up, this is called a glance, and it wants to look for my heart rate here, but if you go through these different things, these are glances, and the stock glance used to kind of disappear if you use it. I actually don't use the stock glance, but that problem won't happen anymore with this particular update. Now, syncing music to Apple Watch has been fixed. I haven't done that very often either, but that's been fixed. There was an issue with that. There's also an issue that impacted audio quality when playing audio over USB with some car stereos. That's been fixed in this beta. Also, there's a bug with iCloud Keychain, so users should no longer see, could not set up iCloud Keychain. There's, those were quite a few errors. In fact, I knew of some people that had that myself, and this particular update fixes that. The final bug fix, at least that they let us know, has to do with videos. Uh, with, the, with the follow track associations, that will no longer fail to play on 32-bit devices. So that's anything with 32-bit, so the iPhone uh, 5, I believe in earlier have 32-bit processors if I remember correctly. Now the feature that we can actually see that they've changed has to do with Safari view controller and what that is is when you go into a different application that uses Safari to pull data such as news here you used to have to hit done in the upper right in order to go back with certain things so let me open up one of these and uh, we'll open up my most recent video and I'm on the news I'm in the Apple News Store. If you want to check it out, you can follow me there as well. So you can see here's some things. Now, if I go to read the full story on my website, it pops it up. And before to get out of here, you had to hit done in the upper right. Now you can just swipe to go back. So it's a simple fix, but a much needed fix. Instead of having to reach to the top right corner, you can just swipe on your screen. That's true of any story here. You can just swipe back. So really nice there. We'll go back here. So that's one little thing they've updated. There's probably some more things under the hood since this is a 1.6 gigabyte update, like I said before. But other than that, I haven't been able to find anything. But if you do, let us know in the comments below, and we'll be sure to follow up when the next beta comes out. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.